got a lot of fans out here, except in the media. As you can see, the former VFL clown prince, singer, comedian, commentator and one-time used car salesman has arrived in Brisbane and he hasn't changed a bit. The hair's still short and spiky, although a little blonder, and the infamous Jacko Mug is still the same. The controversial full forward will be lining up at his second club for the year, while only Kedron, who are still chasing their first win for the season. But that doesn't faze Jacko, who admits to knowing almost nothing about local QAFL football. What do you know about QAFL football? I know punk. Get this back here. Right. Yeah, yeah, I know very little about, uh, you know, Brisbane uh, football, but I heard it's of a good standard, and uh, there's a lot of ex-VFL players up here, and... Uh, they uh, find it comfortable to play up here, more so than Western Australia, but... Uh, I've and what about the modest Jacko Fitness? He hasn't played a game since leaving South Fremantle earlier this year. Can he handle the pace? You know, just because you're built like a buyer from walking stick, doesn't mean that everybody's got to be built like a buyer from walking stick. You know, built like a man possessed. Uh, a lot of people call me, getting me mixed up with Hercules. Uh, I've been offered parts in Rambo, Arnold Schwarzenegger's new movies, and, uh, of course, everything's happening for Jackson, and... Uh, the man who in the past has been embroiled in controversy with league clubs, suspended on a number of occasions and even taken to the boxing ring, pulls no punches when asked of his views on the Brisbane Bears. I don't think they're getting handled well at all. I think they're spending a lot of money on hacks. And uh, I think they're going to be in trouble for a long time until they get a coach with a bit of charisma. Because as Jacko says, the umpires couldn't relate to him. The umpires over in Perth, they just couldn't umpire pigs to be dirty. Now playing with Kedron in Queensland, Jackson obviously has no intentions of playing with the Bears, or if he had, his chances are slim. they got nothing, as far as I'm concerned. The coach is a false alarmer, in my opinion. The administration, Shane O'Sullivan...